in this time, we are going to learn these family words. Mother, father, parent, mother-in-law, father-in-law, parent-in-law. Let's memorize together, okay? Just follow me. Mother, father is 어머니, 아버지. 어머니, 아버지. Right. 어머니, 아버지. 어머니, 아버지. But when I call my mom and dad, I just, I don't call like my, my name. 어머니, not like that. Not mother. I just call my mom, mom, mom. Right? So mom in Korean is 엄마. And the father is 아빠. So mother is 엄마. And father is 아빠. 아빠. So let's do it again. Mother, mother is 어머니, 엄마. Father, 아버지, 아빠. And parent is 부모님, 부모님. So 부모님. Okay? So let's do it again. 어머니, 엄마, 아버지, 아빠, 부모님. 어머니, 엄마, 아버지, 아빠, 부모님. Okay? And mother-in-law, father-in-law, and parents-in-law, we have to put one word in front of the 어머니, 아버지, 부모님. Okay? So, we put 시. 시. 시, 어머니. And father-in-law is 시, 아버지. 시, 아버지. Oh, is there a 시, 엄마? We don't call 시, 엄마. We, like, we call their name with the respect. So we only call 어머니, 아버지. 시, 어머니, 시, 아버지. Not like 시, 엄마. It's, um, it's in respect, okay? So 시, 어머니, 시, 아버지. And 시, 부모님. Okay? So let's memorize these six words. Mother. I'm gonna... Don't see this. Mother is 어머니, 엄마. Father, 아버지, 아빠. Parent, 부모님. And when you put the in-law, we put the 시, right? Mother-in-law, 시, 어머니. Father-in-law, 시, 아버지. And parent-in-law, 시, 부모님. Okay? Good. Older sister, older brother, younger sister, younger brother. So in English, we call the sister and brother. There's no difference with the older and younger, right? But in Korea, we really care about the age. So there is an older, younger, there is a difference when we call their names, okay? So older sister is, there is a two way of calling this. I'm a girl, so I call my older sister, 언니. But if I was a boy, and I call my older sister, 누나. So there is a 언니, 언니, and 누나. Okay? 언니, 누나. 언니, 누나. And when you're calling older brother, there is a two ways also. Is it if there you are a girl, girl, and you're a boy. So if you're a girl and call older brother, 오빠, 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 오빠. And if you're a boy and you call older brother, 형, 형, 형. Okay. So there are. Two, a, two ways of calling older sister and older brother depends if you're a girl or a boy. So, older sister, 언니, 누나, 언니, 누나. If you're an uh, older brother, girl, 오빠, and boy, 형. Okay? So, there are two ways. Let's memorize. 언니, 누나, 오빠, 형. Again, older sister, 언니, 누나, 오빠, 형. The younger and the younger we called 동생. So if someone is younger than me, I call them 동생. 동생. Okay? So this is same. 동생. This is also 동생. But this 동생 is a sister. So she is a girl, right? So we put 여. 여 means girl. And 동생 is younger. And brother is boy, right? So boy, we call 남. 남. So 동생, 동생, it's same. And 
she's a girl, right? So I call her 여 동생, and it's a boy, so 남 동생. If I have a young older brother, older sister, I call them 언니, 오빠. But if I have a younger sister and a younger brother, I don't call 여 동생, 남 동생, not like that. I call their own name. For example, if my younger sister's name is Lina, and I call her Lina, Lina야, like this, not like 여 동생, mm -mm. okay? So let's memorize together. Older sister, 언니, 누나. Older brother, 오빠, 형. Younger sister, 여 동생. Younger brother, 남 동생. How we call the relationship with the siblings. For example, I have only sisters. And I have a sisters, older sister, younger sister. We're all sisters. We call our relationship as 자매. We're 자매. My sister, my older sister, my younger sister, we are all sisters, right? So 자매. The relationship is 자매. 자매. I'm a boy and I have an older brother and a younger brother. So we're all brothers. So our relationship is 형제. 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 If there's a sister and brother together, so we call their relationship, oh, we're 남매. 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 Sisters, 자매. Brothers, 형제. Sister and brother is 남매. Okay? Good. Let's memorize together. Sister, 자매. Brothers, 형제. Sister and brother, 남매. Good. Daughter, son. Only daughter, only son. So daughter is, it's hard to pronounce. It's 딸. 딸. There is a double T. -gut. So 딸. 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 Okay? So daughter is 딸. And son is 아들. 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 Only in Korean is 외동. So 외동, 외동, daughter, 딸. 외동, 딸. And the only son is 외동, 아들. Good. 외동, 아들. 외동, 아들. So let's do it again. Daughter, son. Daughter is 딸. 딸. And son is 아들. 아들. And then when we put the only, there's a 외동, right? So only daughter is 외동, 딸. And the only son is 외동, 아들. Good job. Grandmother, grandfather, grandson, granddaughter. Do you remember how to say mother, father? Informal way. It was 어머니, 아버지, right? 어머니, 아버지. Remember that? And we have to put the grand, grand is 할. We put the 할. So 할, 할. Got it? 할머니, 할아버지. But in 할머니, we delete one word in here. We delete all in here. Okay? So just we call 할머니 and 할아버지 in grandfather. Got it? So let's do it again. Mother was 어머니. Father was 아버지. Good. So we when we put the grand, we put the 할. So 할어머니, but we delete all. So 할머니, grandfather, 아버지, and we put the 할, right? So we the 할아버지. 할머니, 할아버지. 할머니, 할아버지. And grandson and granddaughter, we put, this is 손자. Grandson is 손자. 손자. And granddaughter is 손녀. 손녀. Okay? So grandson, granddaughter, 손자, 손녀. Okay. If you memorize this word, that means that you already knew like more than 50 words in the family words. So let's write in a note and let's memorize all the time when you have time. 
okay? That's a good way of learning Korean. Thank you for watching video and I'm Tuna Kim who is making the video of Korean culture and Korean language. So see you in the next time. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and like this video. See you in the next time. 다음에 만나요. 안녕!